Hey there, Aries couples. Welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela, and this video is going to be for the Aries couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of September 2019. I hope all is well with you guys. Aries, I just heard Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Let's get it right into it. Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for Aries couples. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the second half of September. Aries, keep in mind, with this being a general reading, not everything will apply. Take what re resonates and leave the rest for someone else. And feel free to check the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs if you find that it doesn't resonate at all. And um, personal readings. I do have a sale currently ongoing for 30-minute live phone reading sessions um, if you are interested. Um, 30, uh, the price is $50 for a 30 minute live phone reading session. I have also opened up, <clears throat> excuse me, the pre-recorded option for those of you who are interested. Um, and the, the, the 60 minute readings are still discounted also. Let's get into the reading though. Aries, let's see what's going on for you for the second half of September. <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like some of you could be seeking the advice of your elders. Some of you could also, <clears throat> excuse me, you've been waiting for something, okay? Waiting for something. Some of you are waiting for a baby's arrival. So I feel that there could be news of baby shower around you. Um, excuse me, some of you may have just had a baby. Uh, someone here could be expecting a baby. But anyway, Aries, I feel like you've been going through some very intense and tough times in your life. Um, something unexpected may have happened in your life. Um, something, maybe a dramatic physical or emotional change could have taken place in your life. <clears throat> something may have urgently needed your attention or something may come up. Aries that may need your attention. Um, you could be turning a blind eye to something. I see fire. You could be dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, but I'm also sensing fireworks, burning, smoking, volcanoes. Something about passionate emotions in your in your life. Okay, so I feel like you have some type of passionate emotion towards something. A career change, maybe. Definitely, maybe. I can't stand when I say definitely, maybe. But perhaps something regarding your relationship, right? Um, a birth of a baby, maybe a new beginning in some aspect of your life. Some of you may be thinking about starting a family or you already have a family with someone or you're spending time with family and friends. Mm, I feel that whatever these issues that, are, that you are facing has something to do with family. I see death or dying. It, Scorpio. Okay, so that's why I got the sense of Scorpio. Maybe some of you are wor worried that some of your elders may pass away in your life. Um, death or dying could also be talking about a rebirth. It could be talking about shedding the past and moving forward. Right? Growth, self-discovery, starting a new phase in your life. Okay, but something here may seem out of control or something may end or something may take you by surprise. I'm hearing you're, you're going to be taken aback by something. I see flowers, so comfort, beauty, kindness, love, and joy. Um, faith or compassion in some place in your life, okay? Water, emotional. It's just, I feel like your emotional state right now. You're feeling very emotional. You could be dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Something here regarding the change or flow of your life. You might be going through a very tough time emotionally. You're having a difficult time passing through a new phase in your life, possibly. Mm. Stormy weather, maybe. Stormy weather is temporary. Some of you could be traveling, Aries. Or transport or travel could have something to do with progress being made in your life. Hmm concerned about navigating your life, how to navigate through a scenario. Maybe you wanting more control over your life. Yeah. Okay. Freedom. Because I'm saying birds. 
So you may ne notice, notice a lot of birds around you and it's not by coincidence. Um, uh, and I'm also feeling that you want freedom in some aspect of your life, maybe with some type of hope or aspiration. Okay, let's get into it. Aries. You've been waiting. I feel like the light is going to be shed on something. And I feel that the springtime, last spring, could have been significant to you. And I feel like the upcoming springtime is going to be significant for you. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you just, you're wishing on a star for something. I see you mastering something in your career. Maybe mastering a part of yourself that um, you feel has gone astray or gone awry in your life. The overall energy of your reading, Aries, is triggers. So I feel that something may be coming up or something may have played out that caused, that triggered you, triggered some type of emotional response in you. And as a result, it has you feeling out of control, right? I feel like someone lost their cool. That's why I'm saying fire. Someone lost their temper. And as a result, after you sit back and think about something, you're feeling regret and sitting in your emotions. What's challenging your situation is consistency so on some level in your life maybe i don't know you feel like you're not rising to the occasion someone significant to you may feel that you're rather inconsistent maybe there was an argument that arose because your story was inconsistent let's see what this is about aries oh, okay so there is someone else in the picture mm -hmm. I think I'm on the right track here. Because I see that someone is at an impasse. Yeah. What is it? When, when, when the something is away, the mouse will play. When the cat is away, the mouse will play. Whatever this is about. Okay. So, I feel that someone here wants to be free. To do as they please. And wanted to indulge a side relationship. <laughs> Maybe your friends were helping you pull this off. Okay. And obviously the trust has been broken between you and this person. Um, okay, yeah, I feel like you were attracted to somebody else in this relationship. Well, outside of the relationship. So right now, Aries, you're looking for expansion. You're thinking about the future. Some of you are looking to expand your family. Maybe expand a business. It could be a family business. I'm seeing perseverance. So whatever this is, I'm saying that you're going to rise above it. Okay? And you're going to keep moving forward. One more shuffle and we've got it. Are you worried about money? Your partner might not be feeling like you love them anymore, Aries. Or that you feel the same anymore. Yeah. This might be you, Aries. You might be starting to feel like this connection with this person is not working. For some of you, this is literally that you're not working, okay? You could be out of a job. Something here may end abruptly. Something happened abruptly is what I'm sensing, Aries, okay? Maybe you feel that someone turned their back on you and left, okay? Left the family unit, okay? Does it definitely feel that you have a family, a home life with someone? And you are feeling a, le a measure of regret or disappointment because I do see someone that was involved in the middle of your relationship. Someone here has ego. Someone was on an ego trip, a power trip here. It's like someone didn't want to come down from their high horse is how the other person may see you, Aries. Or maybe this is how you're coming to see yourself, right? Because I do feel that something triggered you, triggered, the, triggered a, um, a negative response from you. What was this about? Okay, were you heartbroken about something? You're hurt. And I feel that it has something to do with the past. Past hurt that you're carrying around. Someone was, I'm hearing somebody was caught with their pants down. Whether this literally happened or you caught someone, whether you caught them in the act or you found some type of tangible evidence about what it was that they were doing. Someone had, was doing something that they had no business doing and it broke out in an argument. Someone here was too proud to apologize, perhaps. I'm seeing that, that one of you told the other one to leave the house because things were not working out and they weren't really contributing the way that was needed. I'm feeling, 
I heard Pisces. I was just about to call you guys Pisces. Aries. I feel that you or your cross watcher could feel like this relationship is at the point of no return. Like There's nothing here to return to. There's nothing here that's salvageable. Okay, someone's definitely flirting with someone else while they're married or in a committed relationship. That's why it's not working. <laughs> Somebody's pissed off. Someone wants to know the truth, and I'm feeling that someone is saying, tell me the truth or else, or some type of an ultimatum about the truth about someone keeping you as an option. Okay, someone here is divided. They're not sure if they want to be committed or if they want to be single. They want to be wild. So I feel like the two of you are like at this place of being stuck. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to move this relationship along. Like I said, you feel that it's not working. Some of you, you, some of you are waiting for someone else. Somebody has skeletons in the closet keeping secrets. Oh, but somebody is getting caught. Online. So, I feel like you could have found something out online. You could be networking. I don't know. But maybe for the wrong reasons. Let's see. I'm seeing like a social gathering possibly. A new contract. Oh, okay. Someone here definitely feels taken for granted. I see a mother or a pregnancy involved in this scenario. I see disrespect and selfishness. Yes, and I do see some type of something happened online. Maybe some online slander, bullying. Aries. What is that about? Okay, somebody was acting a fool online. Whether this was online or this is actually something that happened, yeah, you knew there was more to the story. Like They were trying to keep you in the dark, but you saw the truth of the situation. You saw things for what they really were. Intuitively, you picked it up. Okay. I feel, Aries, that you love this person, but you realize that you're not stepping up to the plate. There are definitely, there's definitely the energy of three people here. And I definitely feel that what's done in the dark is going to be brought to the light here. Um, someone is happy keeping two people, right? This is like an ego trip for someone having two people fighting over them or having two people and feeling like they're keeping, like they have some type of well-kept secret, possibly with a cancer. Um, someone here doesn't feel that there was a sense of closure. I'm seeing an ending. What is ending though? An end of a relationship, an end of flirtation. Oh, an end of an... Yeah, somebody is saying... <sighs> Someone is definitely divided. But I feel like you feel tied to this situation. Someone could feel that they're in this relationship out of obligation. Someone here is definitely married. I definitely get the sense of the two of you. Are, someone here is definitely together. You're intertwined with someone. So this could be financial responsibilities. This could be that someone was intertwined with someone in bed. Right? Like I said, someone was caught with their pants down. So um, there's definitely trickery here. And I definitely see the sense, I see the image of um, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Could be significant to the situation. Scorpio. Yeah. Someone here was definitely keeping their options open. Someone here is confused, or they're claiming that they're confused and unsure about who to choose, okay? Because I feel like someone has a lot of options in their back pocket, not just one or two. You know, they have like three or four, maybe five playthings, okay? That they keep as options put away. Again, like I said, some type of well-kept secret. Maybe even in their car. Could be stashing something in their car. Um... Someone could be leaving at all hours of the night, not really giving any type of explanation. You guys have been through this before, though. Someone is being foolish, arrogant. And it's like right now, Aries, to distract yourself from this, it's like you're throwing yourself into your work. Like 
focused on your career instead of this relationship. Maybe spending a lot of time at work to avoid the issues going on at home. Okay, somebody really was very foul mouthed, filthy with it. Okay, like dirty, playing dirty is what I'm seeing. I feel like someone here is overly generous, gives and gives and gives, and feels that they don't get anything in return. Oh, Lord. Yeah, but someone is definitely juggling and is getting caught. It's like the, 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 the thing that you feared the worst, right? Because I'm seeing like a reconciliation may have happened between the two of you. The trust has definitely been broken once before. Yeah. I feel like you guys decided to give this relationship a chance, but something triggered some type of repeat of a situation. Romantic feelings. Does someone have romantic feelings for someone else, possibly? Possibly a Leo. Yeah, I see that. Someone here is not serious about this relationship whatsoever. They're dealing with someone else. Sleeping with somebody else. And they want you to keep an open mind about it. But I feel like someone here is sleeping with their ex. Or entertaining some type of situation with an ex. Or this is you saying, I'm done here. Right, I'm tired of you controlling me. And I've forgiven you umpteen amount of times. You feel like this is the one for you, but you want this person to step it up. I don't know. The two of you might figure it out, though. Possibly. But someone is dealing with someone from the past, I feel. Okay, possibly talking to them online. Someone could have an online dating profile that they kept secret from you. Like mingling and flirting with other people. Like I said, they have many options in their back pocket pocket their phone and there might be I, I feel like there's a key piece of evidence that's going to be found something here is going to be discovered somebody's going to look into something some of you could be going to tarot that's why you're here right tarot you're watching a lot of tarot or some of you are tarot readers or you have some type of curiosity about i can't say what the future holds the tarot doesn't necessarily I don't know. You do. You have some level of, of curiosity about what the future holds. Definitely, someone has skeletons in their closet. They're keeping something secret they don't want you to know about. But like I said, the truth is going to come out about something. Something here is going to be revealed. The light is going to be shed on this. Okay, I do feel that you're trying to be strong through this. Either you, Aries, or Crosswatcher. But I do feel that forgiveness may be on the table. Someone is going to come back and ask you for forgiveness. <clears throat> someone is feeling controlled or someone is just absolutely out of control. Could be how you see it. Yeah. Some type of shift or change may take place here with patience. But your intuition is definitely on target with this situation. You feel it. You know it. You sense that something's not right. Some of you have the ability to see into the spirit world and your ancestors. Some of you, okay, there's a baby. Some of you could be getting DNA tested or getting a baby DNA tested to find out. And I feel like you're going to find out that you are the father of this child. There's eternal love between the two of you, but there's definitely a disconnect. Something here has been broken. Ties here have been severed. Somebody is saying, I'm done. But somebody's going to look into something. Somebody's about to get caught in a web of lies. So I feel, I just heard Capricorn. I heard, I mean, I hear Aries, or I see rather Aries, that you are taking a breather. You're taking a break from this relationship because somebody says there's no consistency. Come here. Come in with your actions or with your story. So let's take a look at your job, Aries. What's going on with the Aries at work? Aries at work for the second half of September. Okay. I just heard happy birthday. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Something here may take place at a birthday party. Like I said, there's a birth announcement. Some of you could be giving birth. There's definitely a baby somewhere. 
in this scenario. You may have just had a baby. Let's see. Some of you may work with children. Aries at work. Aries, something may trigger you at work. One more shuffle. Somebody spying on you at work? Is it your partner? <laughs> Are they, do they want to know what's going on? Okay, I feel like someone here is definitely curious about what's really going on. They want to know the truth. Somebody's trying to turn and gather some type of evidence is what I'm sensing. Are you guys going to court? I swear, is that deck? I'm looking for, okay, patience. Oh, yeah. See, somebody's not using protection. Somebody's getting pregnant. I see a breakup. Or I see an end of a contract. Because you feel like something here is not working. Or some of you, like I said, you're not working because there was an end of a contract. You, your contract got canceled. And you're having to find something new. You're, you're feeling stressed out. You're stressed out. Worried about money. you got a decision to make. About whether or not to leave. I don't know. What is this about? Definitely looking toward the future, okay? And I feel that something here is going to require you to muster up all the confidence that you have and go, go after what it is that you really want um, work-wise. For some of you, I feel that this is an attraction to someone that you have with someone that you work with. Okay, Somebody's really turning you on at work. Somebody is definitely entertaining a relationship in the background. Possibly Gemini, okay, or Aquarius, or Libra. See that background relationship? She knows. She wants to know the truth about what's really been going on. So I'm seeing this like somebody is entertaining a, yeah, mm. at work. Maybe that's what the tower moment is about. Somebody's getting caught because somebody's spying. Somebody's going to see the truth about something. Yeah. You're at a crossroads with what to do with your job. Maybe you've reached some type, you face some type of disappointment. Okay. You're definitely determined to overcome something. A lot of stress. Somebody's possessive as hell. I see a leader. So I feel Aries that. You're going to be that natural born leader and go towards something. The signs and the signals are definitely there from the universe that it's time to maybe make a change and go towards something that I, I sense that you have a lot of creativity. Yeah, see, with the tower card. Is this a financial crisis? What is this about? I feel like something here ends abruptly, but it has something to do with your energy. Your morale is definitely down. You're definitely in a place of indecision. You're feeling like you're overlooked at work anyway. You're analyzing something, or you are the analyst. Analyst, You have a measure of fear about something, it looks like. And you don't feel that you're going to be successful about something new that you're wanting to break into. Break in? There could have been a robbery, okay? But I feel like there's some, some type of new mold that you're trying to break, break through to. You're, in other words, you're wanting to begin something new. Maybe something completely different from what you normally do. And um, some of you, this involves being a light worker. Okay. It's something here that you're trying to perfect or master. You don't feel like you're going to win, though. Okay, but I do see success coming in. I do see somebody pestering. Somebody is pestering somebody. Slander, talking mess, naysayer. Somebody's trying to start trouble is what I'm seeing. Trying to start a fight, trying to stir something up at work. And I'm seeing someone being professional, but someone is trying to disturb your professional, your professional stance. Okay, because you, uh, I see that. Yeah, you you definitely are dr dressed nice. You you you're you're playing the part, right? It looks like you're looking to elevate in the company. Somebody is stressing you out. Okay, I feel like you want a, a leadership position. 
you're waiting for a promotion, you're waiting for something on your job to change, but I feel instead something ends, and you're having to find the determination to move forward, right, there's definitely a disappointment that took place here at your job, and financially you're feeling devastated because something that may have happened, for some of you, you may have gotten news that someone, um, Ooh. may have passed away. There's definitely an ending. I need to see what this is about. What about your mom? Gosh, I don't like seeing this in a reading. Somebody, you're worried about somebody. You're worried about someone, Jim. I just heard, I just said Gemini Aries. You're worried about someone passing away. You feel that so you might find out that someone is sick. Someone's cancer is progressing. What's the tower? And that's the tower moment. Yeah, because you definitely have the tower. Some of you could be dealing with some type of health issue of your own. traveling to go see someone that is in, health, in ill health, okay? You might feel that you're too late. For some of you, financially, you're devastated because you lost something. There's definitely a sense of loss. It could be financial loss. It could be a sense of emotional loss because remember, I said you're really sitting in your emotions, Aries. <sighs> someone has heart troubles or someone is very hurt emotionally over the loss of something, a job, a person that is that has a big influence over your life. Okay. But I feel that some of you want to build a new business. You're at a crossroads. You're having to make a decision about maybe becoming independent and leaving the job, severing the ties there to do something else. But you're going to be faced with a decision. And there could be something here, a message that you receive, possibly online, Okay, that may... Um, ignite some type of passion within you but either way I see um, you're feeling stressed and you're, there's a need for balance in your life for some of you this isn't something that may have met actually play out maybe someone didn't die this could just be in your fears or like in your subconscious fears you're fearing that someone here is not going to make it you may see that someone is in ill health and you're afraid for them some of you could work in health care possibly that could be where you have your light, light worker skill. But absolutely, someone is in a health crisis. Hmm. I feel like that's, that's for a few of you. I don't feel like that's for a lot of you at all. Someone is having trouble breathing. Someone may pass away abruptly from breathing problems. Like I said, some of you work in health care. Let's take a look at the energy of your cross watcher on a lighter note. <sighs> okay. Cross watcher for the Aries. It's pretty saying get out in nature, Aries. Enjoy some fresh air. Breathe. Uh, patience. Wait. Something here is definitely going to require patience. It's, okay, it's evident. Something here pertaining to health. Somebody's health is in crisis. Maybe this is your cross watcher. Okay. Archangel Michael may be significant to some of you. So definitely some type of spiritual awakening is what I feel that Arch Archangel Michael may bring to you. Some type of sense of enlightenment. Okay. Some of you are definitely dealing with a cancer. 
stressed out. And moving on is the energy of your cross watcher. They're saying things for what they really are. Especially after some type of argument that the two of you may have had. I feel the things, this was a knockdown, drag out argument where no, there was absolutely no filter. No holds barred. Very brash speech here. And I feel that your cross watcher feels that you're in and out of their life. Maybe that's what that sense of inconsistency is about. Back and forth, they feel like you can't make a decision. You might be, okay, definitely see the energy of three. So maybe they feel that you go back and forth between them and someone from the past. And you definitely feel like you're flirting and putting yourself out there physically with other people. Um, communicating with other people, flirting with other people. Yeah, okay, so someone feels that you go back and forth between them and someone else. When things get heated and tough between the two of you, they feel that you run. You run to the other person. So right now, they feel stuck. They're not going to open up to you emotionally and say anything. They're saying this isn't going to work. They may be looking elsewhere. They feel that you're stubborn, full of yourself, and they're done. They're saying there's no there's there's no way in hell I will give this person another chance. Okay, they feel like someone here feels that the that the that you're nurturing and loving. Okay, someone here is maybe concerned about their mom. The mom could be interfering. I see mother and child. Okay, so this could be someone that you have a family with. Some of you could be going to court to get DNA tested for a, a child. I see a pregnancy or like I said, a mother. Definitely feel the energy of three people here. And I feel that someone's in love with who are you in love with? An Aquarius. Mm. Someone has a choice between an Aquarius and a Sagittarius, it looks like. Or a Leo. Okay? But I definitely see a breakup. And someone is saying, oh, this was a waste of time. Or it's a waste of time to try to communicate. Because it looks like that you feel that somebody is saying we get absolutely nowhere. Someone here is triggered. So I feel that there was supposed to be a conversation that the two of you were supposed to have. However, something happened that triggered someone's feelings and emotions and it broke out until World War III. And I feel that someone here is on their high horse, has an ego. Someone here is, is like, like their money... Someone who's like flashy of their money, maybe a status symbol that they have, um, vehicle possibly. Somebody is flashing, like they, they feel like they they want to rep, I don't know what this is about. But anyway, I see gossip. And I see that this, is, this has happened before between the two of you. Like I said, you guys have broken up and gotten back together. Things have fell apart between the two of you before, and this person has withdrawn from you before. So you're just picking up on the signs. You already see that something is weird. Something doesn't quite add up. They left you for someone before, okay? But I feel that this is weird and out of nowhere. There's some type of a shift here. For some of you, someone feels that they're ready to get out of this relationship. They're turning their back on the situation. And they're finding the courage to leave, to be with someone else, or they're having to make a decision about whether or not they want to leave to be with someone else. Someone here may want to leave and start fresh elsewhere. Yeah, someone's definitely putting up a wall. They're cold, they're thinking about the future. And they're stressed out with the situation and they're feeling stuck. Okay, but it looks like there is some sort of confrontation for the truth about there being another person in the middle of your relationship. Crosswatcher, you've been worried about this. Some of you are worried about whether or not this person is going to return. I do see someone here returns and asks for forgiveness. You're looking for a sign, Crosswatcher, because you're not sure about what to do. Are you, it looks like you're fed up and tired of this. You're thinking about a future. You see a future without this person at times. However, yeah, you're waiting for them. Are you waiting for them to make a decision or are you waiting for them to return? Okay. 
but I feel that in order for you to make a decision, there's some more information that you want. You want to get the truth of the situation, and I feel that you will likely get that, but it's all about divine timing. But for right now, you're saying, no, I don't know if I want this. But at the same time, you're saying, I want a peaceful resolution. I want us to figure this out and get to some type of compromise. Okay, And I feel that you will have the opportunity, likely, to work this out. But I don't feel that it's something that may play out now because someone has too much pride. Someone is coming to you very slowly to apologize, cross watcher. But they're going to move at their own pace. They know what they want to do, they know what they want to say, but they already know that you're gonna there's a confrontation for the truth and they don't want to have they don't want to feel like they have to tell the truth to you. <laughs> so they're kind of ignoring you right now for the time being. And so things just stay in a place of stagnation, feeling stuck. You're dealing with a Libra. Somebody's saying this is a waste of time, they're not gonna give me another chance anyway. So why bother? Why move faster? Is what I'm saying. Someone's saying I'm not in a hurry because they're, they don't want to hear me out. They don't want to hear anything that I have to say. You've heard it all before. You, you guys, like I said, you guys have done this before. You've gone through this whole process before. Some of you are thinking about going to school, creating a new path for yourself, a new vision for yourself. Some of you are wanting to learn something new, such as light work or tarot, or how to communicate with people that are deceased. Some of you could be psychic mediums. Okay. You're waiting for a teacher, a mentor, or maybe some of you are teachers or mentors. Some of you, it's time to admit that, you're, that, you, that you are worthy of happiness in your life. Yeah, some of you are magicians. You're into magicians. Some of you, like I said, I see beauty. Some of you can work in the beauty industry, but I feel that someone here is conceited or has this sense of entitlement or this is how they feel about you. They're trying to find the courage to come toward you. Yeah. The Spirit is saying you're exactly where you need to be. Some of you are waiting and Spirit is saying wait. Someone may spontaneously show up in your life to communicate. Spirit is saying follow your heart. Yeah. So, Holy Spirit, what is the possible outcome for the Aries couples? possible outcome Holy Spirit for the Aries couples unrequited love but look on the other side reconciliation somebody is saying no I'm done but wait because there's a plot twist with a reconciliation like I said someone is coming to you to apologize but for right now they're in the mindset of saying how is this ever going to work we can't seem to make it work. We keep doing this over and over again. The same triggers, the same response, the same argument, the same level of disrespect, the same cheating, right? The same, same old patterns. Somebody's saying, how are we going to be able to fix this? Can we fix it? But someone is saying that they love you too much to completely walk away from this and sever the ties completely forever. Okay. Somebody is saying I'm done, but this for some of you this is temporary. Temporary. Someone is temporarily done. I feel that something here is going to be revisited, potentially. So let's take a look at the advice. Holy Spirit, please the advice for the Aries. For the Aries uh, couples. Surrender to complete healing. Surrender to what is. Aries. Place for the advice for Aries. Surrender to spirit. It says, once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Once you've done all that you can do, Aries, give it, put it in God's hands. Put it in the hands of the divine. Oh, wow. Aries. Surrender stubbornness, right? Someone here is very stubborn on their high horse, right? Doesn't want to apologize and knows that that's all it, it's probably all it really takes in this situation. So what, what someone wants to hear more than anything, it doesn't mean that it's going to solve everything, 
but it's a start. Someone here wants an apology and someone here is being absolutely stubborn. It says if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. So become more self-aware. <laughs> Look at yourself, right? When, <laughs> when you're upset. Look at you, the things that trigger you, right? There may be something here that you could definitely consider changing about yourself and maybe changing something about the situation, even if it's something minor. It, it may have something to do with, with your body language, right? That's how they're reading you, as if you're stubborn, selfish, full of yourself, conceited. You feel like you're better than everybody else. It could be just this aura that you're giving off, perhaps. It's not going to be the same for everyone, but Spirit is saying, look at that. Take a look at how your, your body language, but also let go of the sense of stubbornness. If you love somebody, tell them. It's not going to be the same for everyone. The advice can't be the same for everyone in every situation. But it's up to you to gauge what's right, what is right for you, Aries. So with all that aside, um, Aries, this concludes your general reading with Angelic Ascension Tarot. Hope that this helped someone. Uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, keep in mind, my meet and greet is the 21st of September. Go ahead and RSVP on my website. $50 for a 30-minute live phone reading session on my website. 30 minutes, uh, and I also have an hour session as well. For those of you who are, who are interested, the link is below in the description box. Peace. Bye for now, Aries. I'll talk to you again in another video. Bye for now.